Join me as I dive into the wild world of earwax and try to uncover what's really lurking in there. Earwax, that weird, sticky stuff that we all have, but don't really think about. But today, we're going to change that. We're going to talk about earwax, its purpose, and why it's often misunderstood. So, let's start with the misconceptions. Earwax is often seen as gross or unpleasant, something we want to get rid of as quickly as possible. But why do we feel this way? Is it because we don't really understand what it does, or is it because we're just not used to talking about it? Whatever the reason, it's time to set the record straight. Earwax is a natural part of our body's defense system, and it's actually pretty amazing. People often think that earwax is just a bunch of dirt and debris that accumulates in our ears, but that's not entirely true. In reality, earwax is a combination of dead skin cells, hair, and secretions from glands in the ear canal. It's like a sticky, protective barrier that keeps our ears clean and healthy. And if we didn't have earwax, our ears would be dry, itchy, and much more prone to infection. But despite its importance, many of us still have a strong aversion to earwax. We'll use cotton swabs to dig it out, or try to wash it away with soap and water. And that's not good. Not only can this push the earwax deeper into our ears, but it can also damage the sensitive skin and cause even more problems. So, what's really hiding in your earwax? Well, it's not just dead skin cells and hair. Earwax can also contain bacteria, viruses, and even fungi. These microorganisms can give us clues about what's going on in our bodies, and can even help doctors diagnose certain health conditions. For example, if your earwax is particularly wet and sticky, it could be a sign that you have an overactive thyroid gland. But earwax can also reveal more surprising things about our health. Did you know that the color and consistency of your earwax can tell you about your diet and lifestyle? If your earwax is light brown or yellow, it could mean that you're eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables. And if it's gray or black, it could be a sign that you're eating too much sugar or saturated fat. In extreme cases, earwax can even reveal underlying health conditions that we might not be aware of. For example, if your earwax is particularly hard or dry, it could be a sign that you have a condition called keratosis of turins, which is caused by an abnormal buildup of skin cells in the ear canal. And if you have a strong, unpleasant odor coming from your earwax, it could be a sign of a bacterial or fungal infection. But the most surprising thing about earwax might just be how important it is to not overclean. When we dig out our earwax with cotton swabs or try to wash it away, we're actually removing a natural barrier that's protecting our ears. And that can lead to all sorts of problems, from itchiness and dryness to infection and even hearing loss. So, what have we learned about earwax today? We've learned that it's not just a gross, sticky substance that we want to get rid of. We've learned that it's a natural part of our body's defense system, and that it can reveal all sorts of clues about our health. And we've learned that, really, the most surprising thing about earwax is just how important it is to leave it alone. Thanks for watching, and if you have any experiences or questions about earwax, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about ear health, be sure to check out our video on the top 5 things you're doing to damage your hearing.